That's it. Like and subscribe. See you next video. <laughs> Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Thank you for joining us today. Happy New Year. Ha no, don't say that. You can't say that. We'll be back from April Everton's before this video comes maybe, out. Maybe, yeah. Um, right. Okay, so Blackstar have revitalized. Is that the right word? They've yeah. upgraded their um, ID Court range. We're What's now on the version yeah. 4. Yeah. Version 4. Where version does the four. time go? What's the, um, I never remember the version 1. We've still got essentially our three sizes here, going from the little 10 watt one up to the 40 watt one. Mm -hmm. um, and the upgrades, I'm just quickly talk about the upgrades. We've gone from USB ancient, USB-C, as we like yeah. to call it, <laughs> yeah, uh, to now we're on USB-C. Yeah, uh, fantastic. And I'll tell you why that's good in a minute. Yeah. Uh, we've had a, a slight upgrade to the cosmetic panel on here now. So instead of it being a plastic top, it's like quite a nice brushed aluminium top. Yes. And uh, the main, or one of the main features, is it's now got a switchable output mode. So you can go from whatever its maximum wattage is, so 10, 20, or 40, down to one watt. So it's great for practicing at home. Uh, believe, before we go on, please like and subscribe because we forget to, you've got to say that in the right. last video you've been in. I, I forgot to say that in the last 40 videos. Absolutely. I've been. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can win the real clon when we get a million, and every 10,000 subscribers, we get something away as well. You can't even do win the real clon. Oh, they're there. They're in the right middle. there in the middle. So, in our new thing. Uh, in today's demo, we're going to go over some of the features that um, are new, but a lot of these features were on V3, so perhaps if you've got V3 and you've not delved into it, maybe you should. Um, we're going to look at Architects, which is the uh, software that Blackstar have um, to go with this, and going to hear some tones. I so, I'm still disappointed that they didn't keep the name. Insider? Yeah. There were so many gags when it was called Insider, wasn't it? Gags. <laughs> um, <laughs> So as a quick overview, all three amplifiers have got the same set of features on the top and the same accessibility through uh, the Architect software. Mm -hmm. So all we're really seeing, uh, they're all stereo as well. So all that's really happening as we're going up through the range is the size of the speakers is uh, increasing slightly and the output of the amplifier is increasing yeah. slightly. From, like, from to... Yeah, uh, Can't use any of that. <laughs> So this will be fun and we'll just beep it all out. Um, right, I'm going to go through the sounds. So mm. the idea with any of these is there Ready are four. six voices in there. The voices, uh, <laughs> like the voices in my head. Um, they're the six you already voice got six? <laughs> yeah. So the six voices in here also act as presets as well. So without the Architect software, I can store six types of tone in here, get set again in a volume for each, choose my desired reverb, delay or modulation, and then each time I recall it, that's what you'll get. I can use a foot switch to step through those if I want to, or if I am going to use Architects, and that's just simply plugged in via USB, 
USB-C. I've got an infinite number of presets that I can choose, plus a couple of extra um, features as well, which mm. you can't get to from the panel. So we're going to start here with warm, clean. Clean, oh, warm. Clean we, and warm. We, clean and warm, I like that. But we forgot to mention in the beginning, actually, what you were hearing was us jamming out through the headphone socket. So You're that so was right. that sound. You're so and right. also, also, this one here is being, uh, this I play through is being run by that little battery so you pack. Just got that the What's that called again? What's pack? the name of this? PB1. PB1. Yeah. And that can charge your phone. It's got a little light on it. That's really cool. And it comes with a, I don't know how that works, and a little Velcro pack. You can Velcro to the back cool. so you can go completely wireless. Anyway, I just want to mention that. That's fine. Okay, people were saying, good. what is that? That's good. I didn't realize that you were well, you were actually on the, yeah, that was on the that recharge. Was, yeah, so I could literally for... put that around my shoulder and walk uh, it's up. It's super portable as well then. Absolutely. Uh, I was running off of mains and each of these comes with like a wall wart style mains thing. So mm. there we go, mm. right. Uh, so here is our clean warm sound. You can see I can adjust the gain and the volume. Um, the EQ is controlled by Blackstar's ISF feature, infinite shape feature. Um, and then you can see, I'll show you how the effects work as well over here. So we've just got a simple reverb on for this. Um, 257s on the front. That's a Christmas cold. Sounds nice. Yeah, I mean, we've it's... got a big reverb on. I yeah. don't know which is easier to show you, actually, whether or to show you the effects in Architect or the effects you can do over whatever. here. Um, Let's do whatever from want. the amplifier, what I've got is essentially I click the uh, type of effect that I want mm -hmm. and you can see if it's lit up green that means the effect is on and the knob next to it is adjusting that effect. If it's red it just means the effect is on essentially. So I can uh, double tap these to turn them off so we can just end up with the reverb on. So, uh, and I like the overall uh, volume of the effects as well. Wow, That's look great. at this. Yeah it does. Look at that. It's like Back to the Future where the clock goes round and round and round to like to decide what uh, year I'm going to come back in. So the first one is a room reverb. <laughs> Didn't they play they didn't that? Do the sound of, did they do the soundtrack yes, for... Um, yeah, but yeah, that they wasn't did. in Back to the Future, yeah. was, it? was it? Absolutely. <sighs> Isn't it? Hulu and the News, that was four. They put uh, a, it's hip to B square and all that. That's, in that was that that he played in the school for the dance? Didn't they play that? I'm flipping sure they did. Maybe he did. The next one is a whole reverb. Sorry, it's simply just too darn loud, he says. That's Huey Lewis, that's the, uh, who is the teacher who turns the band down to get to the dance to play the that gig. That was Huey Lewis? Yeah. In the film? Yeah. Wow. So that's a... That's uh, that a, was Hall. Then yeah. we've got uh, Spring. You can hear a bit more clangy. And then you've got Plate, which is Ooh, the biggest one. That's the one you like best. Especially when it's empty. <laughs> oh, I'm full. You can then use that to just do that, right? Yep. That chord needs some maximum. It's kind of cool reverb. the way that the. I say it's cool. I mean, it's as in, you know, it's nice and easy for you to see what I'm doing. It's probably easier for you to see how I'm setting this actually from the <laughs> It's so old. It's, oh, that's cool. That moves. I know. Look at that. This is like. Um, so, uh, I'll, leave, nice. I'll leave a bit of reverb on. We'll yeah, just have a little bit of. Uh, what one was Hall? A little bit of Hall reverb on. So, if I go over to delay now, you can mm. see again the delay pedal mm. over here is lit up. Mm -hmm. And we've got the same kind of idea, really. We can adjust the feedback, the level, the time, and also choose what type. So what have we got? We've got linear, analog, tape, and multi. And you can also... Multi. Multis. Oh, I can't stretch that far. What's your favourite one there, Mr. P? I mean, Take I just like a short multi, delay where a short, a short delay where it's just a little delay. bit. And you can tap like the tempo that. there. You can. Too short. Like that. 
That's what she said. That's nice, yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> God. Modulation, same thing again. Oh, that's what nice. have we got here? We got some tremolo, we got some phaser, we got some chorusy flanger. Oh, and we've got an envelope filter as well. So a bit oh, of fun I like stuff. that. So let's start with the phaser. <laughs> Chorusy flangery. Oh, thing. right, 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 right. John Cullen played that chord wrong in that video we put out on that. social and the, recently. So now the Can tap say tempo is huh? the tap tempo. It's I heard you talking yeah. about John Cullen. He there. played the chord wrong. He played this oh, chord yes. wrong. He, that's where he I played play that chord it. wrong. Um, so the tap tempo on here is now adjusting the speed of the modulation. So it's quite clever. Whichever one is lit up green is essentially what you're editing. That's cool. Uh, then we had, what did we have next? Envelope, envelope, envelope. <laughs> Sorry. Funky. Funky. Um, that's the delay on there, though. Then you had tremolo. Oh, that's nice. I feel like uh, uh, this video is also the send-off video for the Dragon Fruit uh, Silver yep, Sky. Which, that. uh, that's it. This one guitar has seen us through many videos and sold in excess of 500 of these guitars in that colour. But they're no, gone now and that. the colour's discontinued. Yeah. So well, say you can goodbye get to color. the Dragon Fruit SE. Yes, I like the absolutely. Dragon Fruit colour. I think it's a good um, colour. So there are your four types of effect. I'm going to turn the modulation off and just leave a little bit of delay and reverb on as we go through some of the other... Uh, uh, preamp tones. So that was that first one was everything you were hearing there was clean and warm. Now it's clean and bright. Like no especially <laughs> they're never bright, are they? They're always. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that bit again? No, it's fine. Man. Okay, it's fine. So again, you can hear that just a slightly crunch. different voice. Yeah. Crunch is coming in next. Calm yourself. Uh, super <laughs> crunch. But can you just explain to me okay. what the ISF thing does again? It's from British to American, right? That's kind of the, well, that's the, I mean, that's I, the flavor of. I'm so how it old. Goes. I even remember when Blackstar first introduced this feature and actually told me how it, it came from. And you can't a, remember? No, it did. It, it came from a, a, a test bed, I think, where they were designing oh, the early right. Blackstar stuff, and they yeah, were just yeah. trying to voice the flavor of it. So they had this one control on a like a test engineer thing that would just do this. Um, sort of sweep of tones from a slightly brighter with less mid-range through to a more mid-rangey kind of thing. And what it what they felt it was doing was was changing the characteristic of the amplifier from mm -hmm. a typically American voiced amplifier to a sort of a yeah. British voiced amplifier. Yeah, yeah. And so they decided that they would actually put that feature on the amp. So most Blackstar, if not all Blackstar amps, have this ISF feature. So yeah, it's not a tone, it's not a traditional tone control where you know it just gets very dark to very bright. It, it's shifting it's, lots of. It's like EQ. a voice control. But you know thing. what? I yeah. might as well just show you. So here's yeah, all so the way off. And all the way up. Yeah, it's more mid. So let's hear Super Crunch, which is a bit gainier again. That's nice. Is that that's my favourite one so, so can far. You, can you use the gain and do more gain? Yeah. yeah. Nice. 
nice. OD1, there's two OD modes. Okay, so like the boss OD1. No, that stands for <laughs> Am I gonna lay it over this chord? And just blue slicks. Can you take the delay off, please? Yes. I'm getting a bit annoyed with it. Not in that way annoyed, I just delay on everything. It just makes mean. it, you know what I mean? You know, like the wife. You want it once, once in a while, not all the time. Yeah. Overdrive 2! Overdrive 2. More saturated. Pull back. Danish Beats Super Fast Review. That must change if you use the IFS I switch. Thank you for watching this review. What we have got on architects here, which obviously we don't have on the front panel, are our bass, middle, treble, resonance and presence controls. Ah. So whilst from the panel, all I've got is this sort of overall, slightly more subtle EQ yeah. thing. You can see from here, I can change it, you know, more uh -huh. traditionally uh -huh. from the software. Uh -huh. And then that will just remember what I change if you store it as part of a preset, so. Noise gate. Yeah, I've seen well. that noise gate. Yeah, which is not, um, sounds like it's really low down at the moment. Now you all, we always complain about uh, the noise gate. It is we? switched on, so I get, let me see what happens. Let's see how noisy it goes if I switch it off. What's happened? Where's your volume? Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine. I love that. So. Yeah, but it, it's not, it's, it's not overly uh, aggressive. So there you go. Back. I like that. It's, it's yeah, set yeah, low. It's, it's set low. Okay. No, no, no. As you can no. see, we're kind of, you know, I, I could have adjusted all those effects, all those tones. I could have changed the voices and everything from the software. So if you mm. like, you know, if you're if you like the idea of using this almost like a plug-in, I suppose, and then just having this over to the side here, you can do that, or you can be over here fiddling with the knobs on here, it's up to you. But this would be an interface as well, if you plug it in, if you're logic or something on, right? It'll come well, up. Well, I, I guess this your... is where we kind of step back to some of the functionality that you can get out of the USB control. Well, can um, we just do the one watt? Are you the one watt? Yes, 100%. Okay. One watt. Which will go very quiet. And I, actually, again, one of the things that I, I like about this style of amplifier, and I'm talking about, you know, there's a, a, several brands will do this, the stereo imaging where they kind of force the sound, it, it allows the amp to be really low volume but still sound big. big. So it's not, you know, some of the traditional practice amplifiers you get, which are a single speaker, they just, the, the, the lower you go, obviously just, it just sounds smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller. Whereas I kind of feel this falls, tricks the ears into sort of thinking that it's a bigger sound than perhaps the volume suggests. But, but yeah. it, I'm thinking on an amp like this, does it need that just to play devil's advocate? No, Can you I not agree. just turn it down? I mean, the, that's I, what it's for, but the, I get the point, point you just go, now I'm just going 40, I'm going one more. Yeah. I get I mean, the idea I'm, that it's easier I'm the to same do with that. you, the, you know, but the, the boss, I'm doing the same Katana. With, the, with these ones, I just turn it down the yeah. master, man. It's just... If it's got a master volume, there is down. absolutely an argument that says you can just turn it down and get yeah. really low I don't volumes, want low, I'll just turn it down. I think to a certain extent, you know, you've got a big wide range of one watt tones, or you can have a big wide range of 40 watt tones, yeah. you know. So yes, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this nice little feature to have. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so we're back this doesn't cost any extra. 40 watts now. <laughs> So we were going to talk fun, about man. some of the other things that you can do via the USB socket. So as Pete said, um, obviously at the moment we're 
uh, controlling the editor or the editor is connected to the amplifier. We can use this as a recording interface if yeah, we yeah. want to. Easy, so easy. we could certainly assign this to a track in a whatever you're using. It could be GarageBand or anything like that. And yeah. You could record straight into that. There is, and this is kind of cool, and we never really touched on this feature when V3 came out. Perhaps it was a bit new. Um, but there is a sense that you can now live stream uh, to your phone either using the USB, so again, if you've got a, a modern um, phone, you could just use the new USB iPhone 15 to or, or any, any yep. Android device that's got USB. If you've got an older phone, you've got a couple of ways you can do this. You can use the, it's got a TRRS yeah. on here, which is like a mini jack socket with an extra ring on it. And obviously you just need that cable to whatever the input of your phone is. Or again, USB-C here to whatever the input of your yeah, phone yeah. is. And then you can press record on your and phone you and start and... streaming your music and playing guitar over the top yeah. of it. And you can record I'll yourself call you. yep. with, a, with a good quality guitar sound. I wanted to show you uh, one of the features on Architect that, that doesn't come out through the speakers. Mm -hmm. So we've gone back to plugging our um, headphone output here into our interface. Again, could have done this via the USB, but we're not recording onto this laptop, so I'm doing, that's why I'm doing it via this cable. Um, anyway, and if you look at the right-hand side of the, the screen now, you'll see where it says cab rig light, and then you've got some drop-down options for the types of cabinet and the type of microphone you've got. So again, super, super easy. I've just, you know, I basically choose my uh, type of cabinet. I can choose my type of microphone. I've got a little bit more EQ, whether or not it's off axis or not. Um, and so, should we just hear a couple of these just to give you a well, sort yeah, of a flavour? Yeah. So this is the 2x12, mm -hmm. as far as I can see from here. What was it, 4x12? Is that an FFR? FFR? Top. 2600 watt Laney one. Oh, that's one, okay. Yeah, cool. absolutely. Yeah. It's like everybody needs that. <laughs> Vintage 4x12? Yeah. I like that. Keep that for a bit. Let's just hear it because it always takes a little while for the ear mm -hmm. to get used to that the cap, you know. I can change the microphone. Yes, yeah, totally. Uh, I can change the type of mic stand if you want because it's biodynamic. No, I can't. No. What's that one here? Uh, that's a condenser microphone. Ribbon. Yeah, it's got I a think, bit more. I think the 57 is the... Oh, a wrong one. Uh, I remember the first time I had to use a Mac. Uh, it's any computer freaks me out. Uh, so look, I mean, that essentially, <laughs> that's the idea. Freaks. There are 12 different types of cab, mm -hmm. three different types of microphone, uh, and then obviously you can adjust the low, high, and the level to taste. The randomizer's uh, good, Yeah, man. if you want the randomizer. I kind of, what was the other, was it Guitar Rig had the idea of just like, if you really don't know what you're doing, just press a random yeah, yeah. button and see what and comes up. But that like. is the idea. So yeah, it's just. There, there appears great. to be a randomizer for your effects as well. So if Doesn't really... it randomize everything? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, you've got a randomizer for the EQ and the, yeah. and the preamp. <laughs> wow, this is obviously a, I don't know, I mean, I guess. It's a, it's a bit gimmicky that, isn't it? But... Randomize, baby, come on. I like but that. The, I, I must admit, I think the emulated output sounds are decent. Yeah, you know I, mean? I mean, absolutely. You, they, they, they all sound decent now these days. You know, we, you, we have to. Great. Again, we've not even talked about pricing. I mean, I, in fairness, if you're familiar with the Blackstar ID Core range, you'll have an idea of what these are. But it's it's very easy to forget that we're playing amplifiers that are 140 quid yeah. up to a couple of hundred quid. You know, maybe a bit more. Um, but you know. This is all. So many features. Yeah, this is so all aimed features. at a player that's you know probably relatively early on in their journey. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be a starter amplifier, but you know something that's either for home or perhaps you are learning to play. And it does feel like there's just an insane amount of stuff. Um, so yeah, you could play through the amp. You can record. It's good for practice. I don't know that. 
I don't know I've heard anything in this with the with the 41 even cranked up to suggest that this feels like um, a little gigging amplifier. You know, I think you can buy, if you, if you went for a more traditional solid state 40 to 50 watt amplifier with perhaps a single bigger driver in there, mm -hmm. that probably feels like it's a yeah. bit more like, you know, it could turn up It'll to come a out band more. practice or whatever. This is much more the science yeah. to sit at home, as you mentioned earlier with the sound, you know, you get that stereo yeah. sound that doesn't cut through yeah. in a in It's, a, the, in a it's all about the, the 40 watts and the bigger cabinet it just yeah. gives you more bass then and a fatter sort of more pleasing sound rather than necessarily gigging volume. I mean, I suppose if you really, really wanted to, you could absolutely plug the headphone output into your PA, choose your favorite sounds by our architects and just, you know, well, like be as loud as you absolutely. want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you won't, you won't be able to hear the cuts off the amp once you plug the headphone in. So, so you'd have to just be able to hear it through some fold back or something. Yeah, like, that. like look, what you're doing in here. And this is cool as well, man. You can charge your phone from it and all that stuff. Yeah, but, I mean. Flashlight on there. It's, like I say, just bonkers, bonkers affordable. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go you just blind yourself. Yeah, but if you afterwards, you know, you have your gig, you you know, you find a girl, and you take her in the, out the back there of yeah. the club, I mean, and you, normally, yeah, it's absolutely. dark. You know, you have to you have to be able to. <laughs> you got one of these. Hang man, on, you know, let me just get the power supply from yeah. my ID core. So I think we've kind of covered everything. I mean, there, there I think is so, a yeah. uh, helpful silent salesman stuck to the back of this amplifier here. So let me just quickly tell you what else there is. Uh, so we have enhanced voices, um, 12 effects. We've talked about that. We've talked about USB-C, ISF, stereo line in, the ability to save your patches in here, your architect's deep editing software. Make me portable with a PV-1. Yeah. We've talked about that. Uh, uh, we didn't there. talk about the tuner. There is a tuner, which again, either appears on the computer screen no, or come up here. on the amplifier yeah come up there yeah the or and also we have some free online guitar tuition which i've never seen before so that's you you doing that is it i'm yeah. doing that no. you won't yeah, that's what I heard anyway. um so that's it it's that as well. is our little run through of uh, id core v4 Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching this and you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Where's Pete's going? I don't know. Uh, that's it. I'll put links in the description to these below. They should all be in stock. So if you fancy buying one of these, uh, please come to your favorite guitar store. Gonna go and find my marbles with this thing. Absolutely. Right. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.